Hello, so I will present my work on, on policy model free reinforcement learning for simplified blackjack. So first I will define the problem, then I will explain some key solutions, and finally I will present the results I have. So the problem is I want uh, to find an optimal policy or strategy for a player to play the simplified blackjack. Uh, some assumptions about the game, the deck is infinite, the sampling is with replacements, and the cards range from 1 to 10 and can be red or black. Okay, so I'll explain the game. Uh, let's imagine first turn, the player and the dealer pick one card. Uh, second turn, the player chooses to hit or to stick. So imagine the player chooses to hit, then he draws another card. And uh, his card is computed as the values of the player's card are added, black cards, or subtracted, red cards. So in this case, his score is 8 minus 5, which is 3. Uh, if the player's sum exceeds 21 or becomes less than 1, then he goes bust and loses the game. So in this case, in turn turn, uh, the player's score is minus 4, so he lost the game. Um, let's move to a new game where the player will choose to stick. First turn, they both pick one card. Second turn, the player chooses to stick, and so the dealer will start taking turns. So actually, the dealer will always stick on any sum of 17 or greater, and he will hit otherwise. So his score is less than 17, he hits. Again, he hits because his, his score is 10. Now his score is 18, so he sticks. We're going to compare the dealer and the player's score. Since the dealer's score is higher, the dealer won the game. Okay, uh, so I move on to some key intuitions behind the reinforcement algorithms, learning algorithms I use. <clears throat> so the Monte Carlo Glee algorithm, uh, a very simple intuition. The player plays several games. Each time he plays a game, he remembers the cards and the actions he took. You can see on this table, like, like for example, he picked a two red and he sticked, or he picked a black ace and he sticked. Uh, at the end of the game, if he wins, he adds a bonus to those pairs of states and actions, and he removes a bonus otherwise if he loses the game. A more advanced intuition is instead of remembering the cards, he will only remember the score he had at the time he took every action and the score the dealer had. Here we can see that we replace the cards with the scores. It's equivalent. It's just less thing to memorize. And then he gives a rating for every. A more advanced intuition is that for making um, his decision, he will go to the state he's in. He will see the rating for hitting, the rating for the rating for sticking, and since uh, the rating for sticking is higher, he will stick. In this uh, case, four to six. Uh, Sarsa algorithm is very similar to the Glee algorithm, however, in this case, the player doesn't wait until the end of the game to improve his decisions, he learns directly from his mistakes. At every turn, he updates his rating for the state action pairs, and this is the only difference, and we'll call this rating value function. A linear approximation, very simple intuition, so imagine the player has a very bad memory and cannot remember everything. So he will use some new techniques, like if his score is less than 5, if his score is over 15, if the dealer's score is less than 3, for example. And, uh, for example, if he's in the state 16-2, uh, he will go and check the, his memory techniques, and for example, he will, let's imagine he tries to evaluate the hit action. So in this case, it's like 10 plus 15 plus 2, and so this action has a rating of 27. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, now I'll describe some results I obtained. Uh, first case, the score limit is 21. A uh, Monte Carlo algorithm, we can see that uh, when the player score is between 15 and 20, it's a very high value, which is normal. Uh, when the dealer score is very close to zero, also the value is very high because the dealer uh, has very high chances of losing. On the right is the action, one is uh, hitting and zero is sticking. So this is the optimal actions according to Monte Carlo. For Sarsa Lambda, again very similar for the value function on the left, uh, we can see the actions, optimal actions on the right. And uh, finally, the second case for the score, when the score limit is 51, uh, we can see that the value functions are very similar to the previous ones 
but they're a little bit more noisy because we have more states and we have more trouble to estimate them. Okay, thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation.